It's a real pleasure for me, for all the AXA teams, to uh, welcome you today for this uh, annual meeting and annual celebration of the achievements of the uh, AXA Research Fund. I think what has been achieved in these seven years is absolutely uh, remarkable. I think we're very uh, pleased uh, and proud that the AXA Research Fund label has gained a reputation of excellence within the academic community. Many of the best institutions around the world are involved in the network. You know that the mission of the AXA Research Fund is to support the best research, but also to help this research have impact in the world, be heard. We focused first on the future of cities, which resulted on, in the selection of one award and four outlooks on the theme of urban sustainability. Pandemics in Asia was identified as a priority topic uh, with a focus particularly on early detection and mitigation. So I'm very pleased to uh, comment on uh, CISO's application in the field of socio-economic risks, which range, by the way, from finance to information technology, privacy questions, uh, migration, geopolitics. So the aim of the uh, Joint uh, Research Initiative is to address research questions, of course, of common interest to help policymakers and improve decision. A joint research initiative aims at fostering collaboration between a team of academic researchers and a team of AXA experts. We receive actually a large grant uh, in 2008, and that's been incredibly important to us in terms of uh, building capital and uh, working toward the reverse brain drain. In terms of research topics, we have worked on, on two classes of topics which have been connected to, to the AXA activities. The first is uh, financial markets, banking and insurance. The second set of topics we have been working on at uh, Toulouse School of Economics uh, is the climate change thing, We're trying to understand uh, the economics of climate change, and also a recommendation for the global governance. I really want to congratulate the AXA Research Fund as a recipient, uh, to this group. but more generally, uh, on behalf of all of us scientists, I think uh, we are very grateful to, to what is being done. Thank you very much. Amid all the good news, there are some very important and serious and, and quite worrying trends that this longevity brings with it. One of them is what it will do to the world of work. If we retire at 62 but live to 100, who's going to pay for 40 years of our retirement? And obviously, um, for the questions of health, there are very important implications. We might be living longer, but if we are not in good health, what does that do uh, to the health systems, to the people around us, to the world we live in? The improvements in longevity are due to a postponement of aging uh, to older ages, to a delay in debilitation. We grow old but we grow old later. In France, to give some examples, the risk of death today at age 70 is the same as the risk of death was half a century ago at age 59. So 70 is the new 59. We mentioned already about the stress, and we know that persons who have high demands and less possibilities to influence the work situation, these are the two things that really increases the risk of dementia. But if you have a work that is more flexible and you can more choose what you are doing, so then I am sure that this protective effect may be there. Of course, we need to offer um, the people who are ill or disabled or need help um, that they can stay in their homes, find solutions which are more efficient, uh, because it's a win-win-win situation. It's better for um, the customer, better for the patient, but it's better for the in insurance companies uh, or insurance system, and, 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 um, however the system looks like. But at the end, the society pays for it. Um, and I think we need to find a solution here as well. So you need to do both things. We shall never leave having uh, children's eyes, avoir des yeux d'enfants. And when it comes to research and science, I think all of AXA, all of my team, and certainly me, we still have eyes of children. So thank you for giving us that. Thank you. Thank you.